Hi, this is Chris. In this video, we'll cover the process of installing InterCalc Build 20 on a single computer. As you'll see, it's so easy that it practically does everything for you. You'll need two things to install InterCalc. First is your current product control code. That's the random string of characters that was sent to you in your delivery email. And then the second thing is the installation link. Now, to find the installation link, we'll come to our website, intercalc.com, and then come over to the For Our Users tab and scroll down to the section on software installation links. I'm going to initiate a download of the installer. While that comes down, I'll point out that there are two general groups here. One is for the installation of the latest build, Intercalc Build 20, and the other is for the older build, Build 12, just in case you have a need to reinstall Build 12. Within each of those groups, you'll also see that they have one link to install and one link to update. Okay, so at this time, the installer is already downloaded. I'm going to give it a click. And when this opens, there's a, a Windows acknowledgement screen that doesn't display on the screen capture, but I'll just click yes to that. And now we can see that we've started uh, the actual installation program. So this confirms the build that we're going to install. I'll click next. Then we need to enter our product control code. So I'm over on my other screen now and I am copying and pasting my PCC over here. And now I can click check and save. The next screen is the software license agreement. You can read this, but it's not essential that you do it at this point because it's also available from the license item in the main menu of the software. In any case, you do have to click I accept in order to proceed. Then you can click next and you start through a series of default file locations. We recommend that you keep these at their default values. The first one is just indicating where the executable file and its support files will be located. Then there's a default location for all project files that you create. Then there's a default location for the installation of the databases that come with the program. And finally, there's uh, the default name for the program item that will be created in the start menu. This last screen is just an indication of the disk space requirements that would be required to install. And if you were installing, you would click Next. I'm going to uh, cancel at this point because I actually already have the program installed. And we'll come out of that screen. Just minimize the browser so that I can point out the last thing that's important, which is uh, distinguishing between the icons for launching Intercalc uh, Build 20 which is named Intercalc App versus the uh, icon for launching Intercalc Build 12, which will say something like Intercalc SEL. Or if you're a menu user, you can come to start and then all apps, scroll down to Intercalc, and the new one will be in Intercalc SEL 20, and the actual item is called Intercalc App. So Hopefully that's uh, of some help. If you have any questions, feel free to give us an email at support at Thanks and have a great day.